destroyed. Uh, you see, in Chateaubile, uh, there was not much homes destroyed. The ashes is the problem. Pounds of ashes. Uh, pray, pray, pray for Saint Vincent. Pray for the people that do not want to change their ways. Uh, please remember to hit that notification. Uh, so why you not leave Shatter when the Come in and go come and get to the fit when I buy check them. And how you keep yourself safe? Good, I Joe go out to the teacher. Beside your hide. In December. And I see what I take come out to the surpass of all us. Any damages to your house? Oh, the part touch something while you crack up. Put you something part I walk up. Yeah, put you for the job and I don't to do them. You get water and them things there? Yeah, we make a plenty of key man. And oh. I teach a teach a girl and teach a Chris Banky and we pull a joke like a donkey day. Right. When water be a go up, they go see a river and joy up. Alright, bitchin'. Yeah, teach <laughs> one night but in the shelters it was just the cold ground so Nemo had to get sponges and matches for those persons force you see uh, there's a lot of stuff circulating on social media and let me tell you something every shelter is not the same so if certain people complain about certain things at a shelter it doesn't apply to every shelter uh, well imagine if Chateau looks like it that what about places like Richmond Properly mash up. Uh, to be honest, we have been to places like Green Hill, and those places look very clean. Take a drive down to Chateau Bille and see what I am talking about. Oh, I won't encourage you to go into the red zone either. But if you go, you go at your own risk. You know the reason why? We had to park the vehicle at the barrel and catch that boat. Because the boat is the safer thing. You see, after all this is done, a lot of vehicles are going to be parked up. Because men would not have the money to fix them. I shall already damage most of them. Oh my. Sandy Bay, you got the worst of it. Homes fully dished. And this is the time we step foot into the house. So you see how long that took us. A uh, short uh, mashup. Pants mashup. Shoes mashup. Slippers mashup. You see the cost? As I told you before, you are not going back to Chatebele right now. I was there, I saw for myself. So while you are in the shelters for like say 6 months, 8 months, 9 months, and you fail to question the accountability of that 20 million dollars, you are in serious trouble. Because right now, some roofs are already sinking in from that ash. Uh, the guys in the hill, uh, that plant, uh, the thing that is not legal, you yourselves are in serious trouble too, because everything fell down. Today, we watched some cocoa cheese, and they fell down as well. I think they belong to Superdance brother. In the next three to four months, agricultural produce would be hard to get. Animals running wild. You won't be able to claim any if you stay away for a long time. Uh, some person's roof have fallen in. So TV wet, furniture wet. It's like you lost everything. A uh, question to the government, like how we evacuated, who is going to cover our bills? Uh, the banks and the credit union have workers to pay. How are they going to get paid when evacuees in the shelter aren't working? Uh, most of the communities uh, that were destroyed by the volcano were farming communities. Oh. I myself have to reach out to Nemo because I evacuated, but I did not call them as yet. I wanted the people into the shelters to get dealt with first because they are the ones feeling the most pressure. Uh, persons staying in private homes are feeling pressure as well. Uh, but most private homes have rugs and large mats and things. You could have laid down on the mats mine because when Troy asked him, how is he surviving during this time? He said that is the worst hurricane that he ever saw. Troy had to tell him that it wasn't a hurricane. It was the volcano that was erupting. Uh, so you see the price uh, to get to Chatebile and to survive for the day in Chatebile while cleaning these roofs. You have to pay transportation to get to Baroli. Then you have to pay the boatman to go and come from Chatebile. 
Plus, you have to provide snacks and lunch for the workmen. Plus, some of them have families, newborn babies, and so forth. They need monies to feed their own family. Uh, some of the guys uh, that volunteer, they themselves are evacuees. So, imagine that. They are already struggling to survive and still trying to help others. Uh, that's why I say that we need accountability for that 20 million dollars that the government got to help out with the volcanic relief. A lot of persons at shelters and so forth are being accused of stealing. If you are stealing, you are committing a very serious offense right now because there are people who cannot eat. You see? If the guys ask for a little money to clean your house, you are going to go on social media and you are going to bash the guys and say, Oh, these guys are out there for money. They are not volunteering. But let me tell you something. When these guys are old and they get sick, you are some of the same ones that are going to pass remarks and say, It's something they probably did when they were young and it catch up on them. But it's not something they did when they were young. They tried to help you, but you did not see. Uh, we got her back from Chateau, 8.45 p.m. The knock, while eating my snack, I turned around in surprise because I felt a heavy breathing. Uh, that heavy breathing was a donkey. I just heard a long mouth coming towards me as if it was going to eat uh, me. I gave it a piece of my snack. Uh, that donkey started to jibble. It was so hungry that it beat that thing to pieces. We fed it and we also left some snacks for it for it to have later. I don't know why that person tied that donkey. That donkey is very hungry. In Chateaubile, uh, there is no drinking water. You have to walk far, far to get signal on your phone. You have to go up on a hill. Uh, there are several residents still living in Chateaubile right now. And Troy gave them packages for them to survive on for the time that they are there. Big up to the donators who are donating to Troy Prince. He always delivers. And I told you, he has credibility. And you cannot question his accountability. Because if you call the residents in Chateaubile right now, they would tell you, Mr. Prince, take care of them. You know what one guy called him today? He said, teacher, you always come and look for us. Even before the volcano erupted. Teacher, I know you brought stuff. Uh, there was one guy in a particular uh, that he interviewed. He was not so right in his hat. It burns your feet. Uh, you have to have on a mask. And over that uh, mask, you have to tie up your entire face with a t-shirt. And you have to put on goggles. Uh, most persons would say, why don't you just clean the house? Do you know going up on a house is a risk? Most persons are afraid of heights. If you see some steep roofs in Chateau Bile, uh, just to clear some roofs, you have to even crawl on your stomachs. If you fall off, who is responsible for paying that cost at the hospital? Uh, when you begin to shovel and sweep the roofs, it's dusk, dusk, dusk everywhere. It doesn't even make sense that you have on a mask. It's just dust flying left, right, and center. Uh, plus, uh, there are dead fowls and dead dogs everywhere. And you have to inhale that scent. Uh, the sight of Chateaubile, it looks like if goats are taking over. Everywhere you look, it's just goats and dogs and fowls looking for something to eat. Hungry. Today we gave several dogs water and they swallowed up that water like shark. Uh, when we had finished the last house and we was walking back to the wharf, we rested down our bags to have us on Facebook where some people were saying why persons were charging to clean house roof. Uh, let me tell you why uh, they are charging. Let me explain to you if you don't uh, know. Uh, to get to Baroli, you have to hire transportation and those taxis are not doing voluntary service. So if you have a friend doing a service, that friend needs gas for his car. Plus right now, how the roads are bad is like when you make that drive, you have to worry about getting back your vehicle parts. Uh, to get from Baroli to Chateaubile, you have to take a boat. And that's another fee again, because the boatman have to buy gas. He has a family to feed. As you come off of the wharf in Chateaubile, 
you are tend to be sick by the ashes. Everything around you is just ash, ash, ash. Your whole body is white like chalk. I know a lot of you guys watch television. You must have seen something like quicksand before. That's how it is in Chateaubill. Uh, the ash in Chateaubillay roads is so deep that your feet begin to hurt. Uh, plus, uh, the sun is blazing, so the ashes, it is something I've never seen in my entire life. Uh, since the suffrage erupted, we have been all around St. Vincent and the Grenadines with the famous Troy Prince. We have been all around Kingston, we have been to Kittels, we have been to Lee, we have been all in Barley throughout all the shelters. I thought that Barley looked bad. Barley looks like a desert at first when we went there the first time. But you see Chateaubille, I tell you, those residents might not be able to go back there for like six months or for the entire year. If you live in the green zone, you might see images, you might see videos with places like Barley and so forth. But you see Chateaubille, you have to see it to believe it. Uh, today, Untold stories, a journey to Chateaubille with the famous Troy Prince and others. We went to do voluntary work and she houses. Yes, we went to take off ashes off of some house roof. I saw a post. Welcome to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we give you the recent updates about the La Sofre volcano in St. Vincent. And we feature Chateau Bile, the place that is not normal right you now. When I say Chateau Mashup, Chateau Bile Mashup. Uh, big ups to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like uh, button, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon. Because you are going to want to see more videos like these, especially this one. Oh my goodness, right now, Chateaubillay is like the Sahara Desert. 